All right, guys, we're behind Office Depot. It's still open. Because it feels like it feels like hunting season. You know why? Because we're hold on a minute. We're hunting some ducks, my friends. Huh, interesting. This complex has uh, quite a few people running around tonight. Security's actually in this complex, but he's just chilling. He's probably wanting to dive himself, to be honest with you. After all these good picks, I'll tell you what, thank you, Lord, once again. All right, we got something in the aisleway we've already spotted. Hold on, man. What is that? Okay, so this uh, complex got the memo that says Chris is coming in to dive. Let's just have a bunch of people pulling in and out and all sorts of nonsense going on here. Live right here with you because we can. Because we can, says the man. All right, serious question for you guys as we're coming around here. If you had to only choose between commercial or residential and you couldn't cross contaminate the dumpster diving, would you choose commercial, only commercial? That means you can't do any residential, no curb alerts, or would you go only residential, apartment complexes, curb alerts, and no commercial? Comment below, please. Where's this guy going? This guy has no idea where he's going. This is the second time he's on the wrong side of the street. He says, keep right. All righty, live right here with you is a set of cans with nothing in it. It's like Top Ramen. It's just noodles with no, no vegetables in it. One more time. I got a good feeling about this set. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, painting. See? Painting and a little I uh, cork board stick up with a little pin and needle. Cork board. Come on, that's something. I have a feeling we can beat that, though. Okay, we're working on it. We're working on it here. All right, one more, and then we are good. Oh, come on. Come on, Johnny. Johnny, I'm trying to do a live shot, Johnny, and you're not working with me. Alrighty, folks, everything from the storage unit, we kind of already saw that. If it didn't make this episode, it's going to be in either the episode before or two episodes ago. Sony camera, we won't get into all that. I will show you some of these decoration pieces I'll use around the house. Uh, that was from the storage unit, free. Let's come on over here amazing. I do need to dust them off just a little bit. These are medicine cabinets. Uh, that's what they're made for. It's clear glass. This is Ikea and this is a big cube and the door, let's see here. I'm going to put it this way here. I put them the other way though. This door opens up and again, that's clear glass here. Only thing that's missing is the glass shelf on the inside. I might go back after the gym tomorrow just to those cans, even though it's really far out of the way. Uh, to see if there's any other good action. Uh, these medicine cabinets with the uh, clear, I, I wanna say just this clear thing right here is about 50 bucks. My guess is that's about, including the glass shelf inside, that's probably about a $100 unit. Two of them, once again, uh, anti-slam stops on there as well, or click thingamabobbers on the inside, the little hooks are in there. I just need the glass shelves. That's gonna be awesome for future house goals. You better believe that. That's a blessing. Thank you, Lord. Coming over here to the 35 pound weight. Again, has a smaller center hole right here. That's all right, should still sell. Ignite, 35 pound weight. This uh, should have a top, I think. I haven't checked it out yet. Hot chocolate, hot chocolate. Oh, it's a cappuccino latte, interesting. Breville, uh, oh, okay, very nice. Uh, regardless, if that's not a complete thing, I think it's a turbo heat up thingamabobber, this should sell here alone. I did not see the top, unfortunately. That should probably have a lid there, is my guesstimation. That was not a fine, that's my coffee. Uh, by the way, if you haven't drank Seattle's Best Coffee, it's always on sale. Kroger, Ralph's, you're looking at $5.50. $5.50, organic dark roast. Drink your uh, coffee organic because uh, you don't want any pesticides in that action. Okay, so I also went back, grabbed these stud wall things for the back of your entertainment center, or probably these came from this, and drat, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe inside one of those entertainment centers was the glass shelves for this. There is a small hole right here, very, very small. I think they attached both of those together. Don't quote me on that one. Little black paint fix that up real nice. Coming over here to, it says uh, FL007, Tilly's, is that $85? I wonder if they worked at Tilly's. This is a brand new pair of shoes, brand new pair. 
That might mean it's a floor model. Maybe it's a floor model. Size nine, $85. Tillies, it says. Those are brand new in the box. These are worn, uh, but I can scrub these up. These are uh, Adidas soccer cleats. Those should definitely sell for some cash. All right, coming over here, guys, I think these ones are brand new. These are um, Umbro, Umbro um, size, I think they're nine, uh, size nine and a half. Umbro Velocitia 4 Pro FG. Sorry if the camera was tilted down just a little bit. Uh, I opened them up and they're still in the little wrap. So yeah, they're brand new. It doesn't look like anybody has worn these. They look absolutely fantastic. They've worn those, not those. Of course I grabbed All Purpose Citrus Cleaner from Sprouts. Who wouldn't do that? And the DC Boots. Thank you, Lord, so much for the blessings. This was an amazing haul, folks. I'm so pumped on the IKEA house goals. So pumped on the storage unit action. There were some sweet scores tonight. Thank you guys for watching. If you've made it this far into the video, no matter what episode it is, if it's drawn out over two episodes, three episodes, hit that thumbs up button. It is always appreciative. Ports the channel. Thank you. Check out the links in the description box below. My dumpster diving reselling action course. My Instagram links. Come follow me on Instagram. Sometimes I post stuff I find without posting it on videos or in advance. So follow me on Instagram. It's always linked in the description box below. All right, we're heading back over to the Ikea haul that we saw last night. We're actually double dipping we're going quite a bit out of the way to go check this out hopefully there's still some action and some new action this complex actually used to be my hot spot i'd hit up fortunately i actually live the opposite direction now i used to live about two minutes around the corner Alrighty, what do you guys think what do you guys think we're gonna go live right here with you if we have to we'll lower the camera real quick and a trash can <laughs> we'll definitely go in for a closer look Wow, those maintenance guys did a great job. Well, I'm gonna say great job because that is their job. Bad for dumpster divers, but they literally took apart all the Ikea and put it inside the bins. So unfortunately, that's their job and that's what they have to do. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of this complex since I'm over here. Actually, I better watch my, actually, no, it looks like I uh, got a couple more miles because it's regenerative charging. Means that if you, uh, are in traffic, you actually gain some mileage. Anyway, I gotta watch that because uh, I don't wanna have to charge up. Again, I'm going the opposite direction. Anyway, kind of a bummer, indeed a bummer, but good news is I actually grabbed the trash can. It's a little dusty on top. There was actually some cleaner bleach inside of it. I didn't see anything new, and actually I cleaned the top of it and I gotta roll down the window. It smells like bleach in here. All right guys, we're behind Office Depot. It's still open for business, so we're gonna be a little quiet, but look at this little wicker thing here. I don't know if this is a personal dump or not. It's missing the glass top, but that'd be a nice like little wicker side table. This bin right here, ooh, all right. Let's take a little look-see at this here. Looks like they missed the recycling cycle bin. It looks like there's nothing in there. Typically, well actually, there is a whole stack of computer paper right there. Sweet. You need computer paper? <laughs> awesome. All right, well we're going to take the computer paper, mine as well, and uh, we'll go ahead and I don't think we need that storage thing there. Let's look in here real quick, guys. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Those ones look like they're used. Those ones look like they're actually brand new LEDs. Oh my goodness, guys, we might grab a couple of those packets. Those ones right there look like they're brand new. These ones are bulb. I think those ones are LEDs. I might take that entire batch right there. Wow, this is a haul right here. Let's look over here at this one. Um, 
we don't see anything here. There is a uh, mat here. What's this? This looks like uh, like ink. That does look like ink. No, never mind. Um, that looks like a e laser ink there. No, those packets are empty. Okay, we're gonna get some of those bulbs and get on out of here, folks. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.